The problem, you're at the airport, in that plane, whatever, and the delay, it's all very frustrating and a lot of boiling temperatures. Yeah. Temperatures, tempers and temperatures. You'd be a good meteorologist. The with. I saw you and thought temperatures yeah. right away. Yeah, some of the video, those, those folks look miserable in the video. Oh shot. They're gosh. like, oh, this is, yeah. which it is awful, I guess. Yeah, you've been there. You've ever done that, that? It's terrible. Yeah. It's a horrible I mean, position to be in. We had a bad position when we were just flying with one kid. I can't imagine multiple <laughs> kids. I mean, just, you got to keep them entertained. I, I get oh, it's it. It's tough. So probably better to drive. So I want to start actually with travel forecast for 4th of July. Okay. A lot of people hitting the roads Thursday, trying to get a long weekend out of it. A lot of people hitting the roads Sunday. Maybe you're taking off next week, but I just want to give you a big picture pattern. No specifics here, but this is Friday afternoon where we're expecting showers and thunderstorms across the country. We're getting into a pattern where we're going to have a big old ridge of heat in the center plains, which we have right now, but we'll have showers and thunderstorms that roam around it. So you notice we will have rain on radar across the plains down towards the southeast. More of the same on Saturday. That does include us. Notice the west is high and dry. If you're getting out there, no problems whatsoever. Eastern seaboard starts to get impacted by some rain and thunderstorms on Sunday. So we will have showers and thunderstorms around across a good portion of the country, especially Mississippi River out towards the east. But not a watch out for anybody. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be dealing with that haze and the smoke. We started talking about this on Monday. It's with us now. It's going to be with us through tomorrow, and then we'll clear this stuff out. But it, notice we're in the 50s for a lot of you tomorrow morning. That hazy sunshine continues. Not a bad day tomorrow outside of the atmospheric smoke. It really is going to be a pretty pleasant day. We had a pretty raw evening out here. We had rain off the lake, wind off the lake as well. Lots of drizzle and heavy rain in areas. That's finally starting to come to an end. Our last shower down here in areas of Stark County, Canton out towards the Louisville area, seeing some heavy rain along 62 right now. That's pushing down to the south. All this going to start to fade as this low pressure pulls away. It looks like we settle into a nice pattern out towards our west. There's showers and thunderstorms west of us, but this looks like a nice day tomorrow, right? Well, not so fast. If you pull up the satellite from today, you notice that smoke that we have real thick across Chicago, Chicago, Detroit to the worst air quality spots in the world today. This continues air quality alerts in effect to us tonight into tomorrow night. So just not a good day. And this is all from those same wildfires in southern Ontario that it continue to burn. And we'll be dealing with this a lot of the summer. Visibility not good right now. That's not fog outside. That's atmospheric smoke. So it's thickest tomorrow during the morning and midday hours. We still have it around tomorrow afternoon. So white sky up above us. But watch how the bulk of it pulls away as that low pressure pulls away. So we'll have some lingering smoke around here on Thursday, but not nearly as bad as what we have tonight, tomorrow morning, tomorrow midday. It'll start to clear out and notice how it starts to push out for the weekend. In terms of rainfall, not dealing with it tomorrow. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Cooler temperatures waking up. This does not show haze on it, so otherwise we'll have filtered sunshine. We're up into the 70s. A beautiful day tomorrow because humidity will be down as well. It'll also be down as we go on into our Thursday, but the muggy meter pulls that humidity right back up for the weekend. It's going to be a sultry weekend around here, humidity wise, and that's going to trigger some showers and thunderstorms as well. Best chance of rain if you're planning out your weekend Saturday, Sunday. Unfortunately, if you have Monday off, we're looking better. Tuesday for 4th of July itself looks dry. We're going to be threading the needle on that though as we get into a true summertime pattern all that record heat down towards texas is going to stay there that is not coming our way typically you'd say oh a couple days we're going to get some major heat not the case it gets stay, stays down towards the south we'll get into this ring of fire pattern they call it where it's dry underneath the ridge you get showers and thunderstorms that rotate along that in these large complexes Severe weather is possible that as well, where you get storms and then it's dry for eight hours. That's the pattern we get into. So it's going to be about timing out these storms. As of right now, it looks like some kind of complex of storms will come through somewhere in Ohio Thursday night into Friday. Saturday, a better chance for those storms. And look at the coverage on Sunday. Although to me, it looks like this may be just south of us. As of the latest model run, there's your Monday. Not looking too bad. But various rainfall chances. There is severe weather in the mix as well. But a lot of dry hours in between. That's summertime. You Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. We get hot around here, but no 90s in the forecast. And there's your forecast all the way through 4th of July.